Right then, so welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and use the After Effects Saber plugin for making cool kind of white sabery effects text or just adding a lightsaber to your video content in Adobe After Effects. So we are going to be using Adobe After Effects 2024. I have updated to the new software, because why not? And yeah, let's just get straight into it by heading over to Google or your chosen web browser first. So when you reach your chosen web browser, which for me is obviously going to be Google, you need to go into your search bar and you are going to type Saber After Effects. Login. And you're probably going to be met with this one at the top by Video Copilot, which is the Saber After Effects plugin creator. So you click on this top link to just here and it bring you to this page where if you scroll down, you can download it for Windows or Mac. Obviously, we're on Windows today. If you want to do it on Mac, it's the exact same process and it's exactly the same After Effects. You just need to click that. And then click that, and as you can see, it will head up into the download window up here. If we wait for that to download, depending on how quick your internet is, obviously mine's done it already. And then you'll click on that file and you'll be brought into your file explorer. Into a window sort of like this. You then want to simply click on the installer and then go through the relevant prompts. So once you have allowed it to be installed on your computer, you will then be met with the installer window or you'll then go to I agree and you'll select your software that you're using. Obviously we're using 2024 and we're going to install it. Once it's installed, which is very quick, there's only 0 0.8 megabytes, because I'm going to have to update mine. Once it's installed, simply press finish, and then you can close out of both of these windows, as you don't want to need them. You now will need to restart your After Effects file, so, uh, I'll buy After Effects. I'll buy After Effects. And once your After Effects restarted, you'll be met with, ignore this, this is another plugin, you'll be met obviously back on your home screen. If you're using the new software, then the software. We are then going to head over to the new project tab in the corner over here. This is kind of basic After Effects stuff now, but new projects, I'm going to make a new composition. I'm doing do mine in 4K. You can choose whatever resolution you want. There's a ton of resolutions here you can use. I'm going to name this Demo. Saber. Okay, I'm going to choose my background color to be black. You, again, you can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to set this to be a 10 second clip because we're not going to be doing much more than 10 seconds worth of stuff, so there's no point in overstressing my desktop. Once we've done this, we now need to find out where we're going to find our plugin. Okay, because most plugins will end up in your window workspace essentials extension sorry like AE juice bar emotion em, em, emoji library emotion array which are three plugins I use on my desktop but you do not find the saber plugin in there in fact if you head over to your effects and presets panel which is over here if you're using the base version default view of Adobe After Effects but if you don't know where it is or if you can't see the effects and presets tab head over to window and then you'll just go effects and presets presets or you can do control 5 apparently I never know that but yeah you can simply open it there anyway now that we've got our effects and presets window open we're going to head right down to the bottom usually or you can just search um, say that. okay so that's going to be our plugin so what we now want to do is we now want to apply this plugin to some text so what we're first going to do is we're first going to create a text layer we're going to head up here to our type tool or control T we're then going to put it on screen like this, and I'm going to do subscribe. I'm going to highlight that, and we are then going to find a nicer font than Times New Roman. Personally, not a font that I use <laughs> very often. I need to make it simple so the plugin can actually apply its outline to it, obviously, but this is use Impact. I use Impact for a lot of my demos, and then I'm then just going to scale it up to 600. And then just because I'm fussy, I like making the boxes look nice. Oops. And then obviously deselect if it wants to deselect. There we go. And then I'm then just going to do, 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 align it using the align tab. Okay, so we now have our chosen text. And you can do whatever you want. And this is kind of a great practice method for when you're using new plugins is, you know, work with something basic like text in very, very simple timeline format. So we have our text layer. So to get started with using the Saber plugin, we first need to go to a layer, new, and solid. Again, I'm just going to rename this to Saber 
solid, so we know what it is. It doesn't matter about the colour, it just needs to be the same uh, dimensions for what we're going to be doing today. And simply create. So then, now that we have created that, we are going to head over to our presets tab and, right there, and head over to our presets tab and go saver. And we're going to click and drag it onto the saver solid line. And then you are going to get a beautiful light lightsaber line. Now, we're going to be working in the effect control panel over here. Okay, which will appear when you open up the saber preview. You, you can move the saber line around using the points. Um, we're not going to do that at the moment though, because uh, oh, I tried to do a math command then. Um, <laughs> you can move it around, you can also scale it, you know. Again, not going to be doing that. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be going over to our panel over here and we're going to go to Customize Core. So we'll click down like that. And we're going to go to core type, and we want it to be a text layer. Okay, so change that to text layer. Then we then need to select which text layer we want, and we would like the subscribe text layer. And voila, it's suddenly applied to the text layer. But can you read that? I really can't read that very much. Now this is where we can actually. So the final thing that we need in the customized core layer is our start offset. So if we start it at 100, click the little keyframe button, pull it down by say three seconds, and then put it back to zero. You will then see what happens. Obviously, we need to customize this and make it actually read. So getting rid of our customized core, we're then going to go to the presets. You can see there's a lot of presets for you to play around with that have different effects. You can have the fire effect. So if I wanted you guys to subscribe with the fire effect, this would be a pretty cool effect. So you've got the fire effect, you've got all the other presets that you can choose from. And in each preset, oh, I've crashed. In each preset, you can obviously customize everything about the preset. We're going to use Fusion for R1. And if we just scroll to a point where it's going to be all on screen, wait for it to render. It's a pretty cool one. So we're now going to change our glow intensity to make it a little bit more readable. And also I'm just going to change this glow spread to make it... Oh, no, 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 no. Nine. That's what I wanted. If it wants to load. Okay. Let me just do the command to undo it. As you can see, that's much more readable. You can obviously play it through like that. And, yeah. Really, really simple, actually, to be honest, using the plugin. Again, you can apply this to shape layers as well. So if you wanted to kind of use the saber effect to, like, have... Like a neon glow, I think they do have a neon preset, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, neon. Okay, I actually used this one before, it's a really good preset to use. So yeah, that is how you use the Video Copilot Saber plugin in Adobe After Effects 2024. If you installed it in the 2023 version, I do believe, like I just had to do, you just need to go re-download the installer and then just click update or install again and it will uh, uh, reinstall it on the new Adobe After Effects. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it helpful, do not forget to subscribe or leave a comment and a like below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, and it really gets us out there in the world. And I will hopefully see you, well no, I won't hopefully, I will see you in my next by the Premiere Pro tutorial video, Adobe After Effects tutorial video, or long form piece of content. Bye for now.